<laughs> Greetings, friend. Here we are playing Outward once again. Welcome to part five of our Beginner's Guide walkthrough. If you've followed along with us, uh, we've just conquered Montcalm, just put an end to that terrible group there. Um, they will, however, be back. Enemies do respawn in this game, so that they'll be back next week. Don't worry about that now. Just enjoy the victory. But, yeah, we will be able to visit them later in life, which is kind of cool. Come back with stronger weapons, stronger character. So, here we are back in Sierzo. The fruit respawns, too, after three days. So, we've got, all right, gay berries, ochre spice beetle. All right, let's sell some things. So, like I said, I like one-handed weapons better. I just like the speed of them. So, we're going to sell the halberd, the cleaver halberd. So. Greetings, friend. Greetings, all right. Okay, so we'll sell the dagger. I'm not going to use dagger skills quite yet. The silver is more important to me right now. Sell the cleaver halberd. I'm going to keep the padded boots. I'll sell the scavenger boots. I'm going to sell all my poison rags. I've got crab eye seeds. I can grill some of those, craft more poison rags. I'll sell a couple pieces of jerky. I don't want to have more than five in my bag at a time. Sell the salmon, the trout. Um... I'll keep the rations there. I'll sell the hide. I'll sell the mana stones. Live weedy. These things are useful, you know, mana stones and live weedy. They're useful in, in different recipes, alchemical and the like, but we're just not there yet. The silver right now is what we're after. Power coil, I'm going to hold on to. Blue sand, I'll sell it. We've got our blue sand armor chest piece, and that's good for now for us. Okay, so let's see. The Zura shrimp. Sell that, sell the eggs. Mist potion, I'll sell one, I'll keep one. This grants the mist boon, similar to the warm boon, but the mist boon provides ethereal uh, damage bonuses and resistance bonuses. So, we'll, If we encounter a spiritual being, like a ghost villain, we'll uh, take one of those. That'll help us in that fight. Okay, so that's good for now. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, let's see. And then we can see if he has scales. Okay, so the vendor's refresh. He's got scales. He also got palladium. What I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase the scales and I'm going to purchase the palladium. The palladium, both items can be used in uh, recipes. We'll confirm that. And I've got 400 silver. That's four pounds in my bag. Okay, it's taking up four pounds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase. Uh, I'm going to purchase four, four ingots. Four gold ingots for 400. Basically, we're exchanging the silver for gold, and it lightens the load in our bag. And then when we get to a next, you know, another village, we can just sell the ingots for items in exchange for items. So, got one silver, but really, we've got 400 and one. So that's that's a good way to lighten the load in the bag. I'm not sure why that's reading, you know, overweight. It's, 10 out of 10 so but it does I'm gonna move the gay berries to the bag just to get rid of that okay so now I've got the palladium spikes I've got these scales we'll use those a little later the palladium spikes what I'm gonna do is go to my manual recipe I'm going to select the spikes I'm gonna decraft them the palladium scrap palladium scrap added okay now I'm gonna select the padded boots I'm going to select the palladium scrap and the amylite. So this recipe works for all the padded gear, padded armor, padded helm, padded boots. And it's just one palladium scrap, one amylite, and your padded item. That gives you amylite boots. All right, let's go in our inventory. Amylite boots, we can check the stats there. Provides one protection, resistance 9, frost resistance 15, impact resistance 14. Damage bonus plus five percent physical damage bonus. Cold weather defense five. Stamina cost plus two percent. So not not a bad stamina hit. Let's equip him. Nice. Yeah, those boots look look better with the blue sand than than the makeshift leather. Still not 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 really great. Not a really great look. I, I'm not a fan of heavy armor, but. Provides good protection Greetings, early on. Friend. And I, I definitely used heavy armor early when playing outward. 
So, the makeshift leather boots now, I'll just decraft them. Decraft them into rags, make some poison rags. Okay, I think we're good there. Makeshift leather attire. I'll take that because we're going to put it in our stash. I like the makeshift leather attire again. It's kind of kind of rustic, kind of rugged. I get the urge to go primitive every once in a while. Okay. Again, all these fishing spots respawn. We'll hit those up. Just you know, random boots floating in the water. It's kind of surprising how many boots are floating in the ocean. Okay, you'll come to realize as you play through outward. There must be a lot of pollution. I guess oh, there's blue sand, azure shrimp, nice. Maybe with shipwrecks, I guess. People at sea. Boots. You know, floating. Yeah. See, another pair of boots. Decraft them. Alright. Okay. In this episode, we're going to make our way to Complex Mountain to acquire mana. Okay, we're going to start the journey. There are three different paths that you can take through Complex Mountain. I'm going to go through each path. Okay, there will be a separate little episode for each path that we do. All right, right now we're just gathering more berries. Or spice beetle, good. We're gonna go up and speak with Rissa. As you can see, beautiful sunset over Sierzo. So it is it is approaching evening. We're gonna sleep. First, let's talk to Rissa. There you are. Urgent news just came in. I must be off. Okay. Why? What happened? This is troubling. It's troubling bird. I'm going to Berg, the main settlement in the Enmakar forest. If you'd like, meet me there. I have an offer. I will pay off the rest of your blood price. But it's worth thousands. And adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. It's worth thousands of silver. Where is this coming from? It's complicated. Suspicious. The Blue Chamber Collective is about coming together as a family. Well is then, it? it's your choice. I have a choice. Your life is in your hands. You will need to prepare travel rations. Hmm? Okay, she gives us... Listen well. She gives us travel rations. She urges us to possibly join her in Berg and join the Blue Chamber Collective. That's the th one of uh, four factions that you can join in the game. As I mentioned in earlier episodes, there's four factions to join. And it's the same story, but you get to see it from four different perspectives. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see it from all the perspectives. All right, so here we are at our lighthouse. Okay, so we're gonna stash the makeshift leather. We'll stash the satchel and the scales. We wanna lighten our load for this trip. We'll move some of the salt to stash. Gotta keep our bedroll. We'll move the, the predator bones to stash. Uh, okay, yeah. I thought I sold those. No, I, okay. I fished again, I forgot. Okay. Again, we're just moving things to stash. We can cook gayberry jam. We'll do that. So let's, let's move two gayberry jams to stash. We'll cook these into gayberry jams. You know what? I'm going to put those in stash too. We just got the tartine. That's fine. We are going to... We got some bread. So we'll do another thing of tartine in our cooking pot. Azure shrimp. I can sell that. Okay. Anything else in stash? Put the blood mushrooms in the stash. All right. Okay, let's go down to the kitchen. 
Bitter spicy tea. Alright. Good. Gay berry tartine. Alright, okay. Rations. No, we'll, we'll, we'll not make travel rations. Alright. So, before I sleep, I usually check my weapons. Fang Axe is actually pretty damaged. Over halfway gone, so we gotta repair that. Harpoon's damaged too, sometimes. So you can either pay the blacksmith 50 silver to repair all your equipment. Or you gotta repair individual items. Whatever you have equipped, you sleep with, repair it. If I want to repair the harpoon, gotta equip it. Okay. Can't repair two items at the same time if you're sleeping. If you're doing it while resting. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Or no, 8. It's almost 9 o'clock. So 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the morning. Let's see what that does to our fang axe. See if that restores it fully. And I might get some repairing in the harpoon too. Fang axe is good, just a tiny bit damaged, that's fine. Yeah, let's repair. Just give a couple hours of repair to the harpoon. Okay, when we head out, I want to hit up some more fishing spots. Try to get that blue sand. Alright, equip the fang axe. Alright, so our, our bag is pretty good. We've got some good weight in there that we can... Some good freed up space where we can add weight. Alright, so let's head off to Conflux Mountain. The acquisition of mana, the ability to cast spells. Alright. First thing I want to do, I just want to buy another water skin from... Is there something you need? Yeah, there is a water skin. And what else? I'm going to buy some more mineral tea to restore burnt health. I'll buy, I'll buy three teas. Okay, again, I don't have enough silver, but I just gotta give him one of the ingots. Sometimes Doran sells padded gear. So if you've got another scrap of palladium, we've got amylite. I'm not, I don't have palladium though, and he doesn't have padded gear, so. But sometimes I always kind of check just to see if he's got it. Confirm it. Okay. Alright, to head off to Conflux, we're going to head this way. Through Sierra's of Storage. Okay. Again, if you've been following along with our walkthrough, we're getting you to a place where you've got decent weapon, decent set of armor. But we're almost there. Yeah, I think I'll make a couple more episodes and then we'll go ahead and be done. All right. Again through this cave. The troglodytes in here, I believe are they haven't respawned yet. I believe it takes 7 days for villains enemies to respawn in the region. Okay, we'll mine that iron. Got some thick oil. Okay, that's good for the warm potion. There's the dead trogs. Green mushroom, we'll gather it. I'm feeling the stamina cost with my armor and the boots. So you can check your stamina cost. Go to your, your vitals right here. Minus 10% on speed. Minus 12% on stamina cost. Again, I'm a light armor type of player. But early on, if you don't have a lot of experience playing outward, the heavy armor will get you through the frustrating beginning. 
again, the beginning doesn't need to be frustrating. I hope you've learned that much as we've gone through this, this walkthrough. Okay, gather seaweed. Here we are on the beach where we earned that tribal favor from Michael. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're, we're on this beach now, and then we're going to head east to Conflux Mountain. You'll know it by the, the purple landscape and the giant, giant sw mountain with a swirling, some sort of a swirling platform that spirals up it. So it's fairly obvious to see, to spot it. It's actually really obvious. Okay. Starfish cave in the distance. Fond memories of that already. Got some whale bones washed up. I love it. Again, gathering seaweed to use in ice rags. Crafting ice rags. Got some amylite here. The blue sand, you might spot the blue sand clusters on the beach, but you're not going to be able to gather them the second time around. At least not yet. Maybe I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. Did I get more boots? No. I thought I, I, thought I harpooned some more boots right there. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Another fishing spot. Salmon. Again, I'm just fishing for uh, larva eggs. You can get four silver for that. Um, blue sand. That's really what I'm hoping for. Especially if you're looking to, to craft the rest of the blue sand set. The, the helmet and the boots. Okay, those are a shrimp. That's a nice item to sell. I'm gonna down this mantis shrimp here. Drink water. Again, get my stamina boost going. Now I've got a damage bonus with the amylite boots. Feeling really good about it. Ice rag up. Drop the bag. Try to try to sneak up behind him. You can get some early good early hits in that way. Yep. Get out of there. Oh, I got smashed by the AOE. That's all right. I've got the uh, blue sand armor. Gives some lightning resistance. Quite a bit of lightning resistance, actually. It gives you 20 lightning resistance. I usually try to dodge that attack. The lightning AOE, but I just didn't get it in time. All right, we'll take all those items. Again... He inflicted confusion, impact resistance, negative 25%. So we're gonna stagger more easily in our next until we until we get that confusion taken care of. I'm not worried about it right now. If I was going through a cave or a dungeon, maybe I'd look to maybe take the hex cleaner to, to rid myself of that, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna save my hex cleaner. There's the boots. Caught some boots. I went fishing. Ice rags, good. Okay. All right. At this point, I'm gonna head. There's Conflux. Conflux Mountain. You can see it off in the distance there. I'm get some health regeneration going. Some jerky. Okay. Got that going. Got a couple hyenas right here. Um, I mean, why not? Let's just go poison rag. Got our stamina boosts already. Not worried about the impact. Hyenas don't don't inflict that much impact. I didn't ice rag up. Oh no! I, okay, I poison rag. That's good. 
the poison varnishes and rags, you can't see it as well. This guy's running away from me. A lot of times I'll do that run let's see, running attack. Nice. Okay. Good. Let's grab my bag. Okay, this is the reason why I, I usually learn that skill Feather Dodge that I've spoken about in previous episodes. I'll take the hide, just, you can sell it for five silver. The bones and the hide. But yeah, Feather Dodge. I just, I don't like dropping my bag every time I fight in order to dodge well. Feather Dodge allows you to dodge with any backpack that you have equipped. And, it, and that backpack will not impede your dodge. So, again, dropping the pack and then going back to get the pack every time. And then sometimes forgetting to drop the pack and then rolling awkwardly with a giant pack. It's all too much for me to handle. Okay, my patience, again, wears thin. If you don't like to dodge, if you're a shield guy and you want to um, just block with a shield... Then, yeah, that's fine. Keep your bag equipped. Alright. Okay. But if you're playing with the character, if you're using light armor, which I like to use, dodging is going to be essential for you. Okay. Oh, okay, up ahead we've got gray pearl bird hyenas. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my hand at him. That gray pearl bird's a beast. Okay, he's a beast. His health's barely gone. Okay, so I'm gonna drink water. Oh my goodness, he's coming close. I'm gonna do tartine. I'm gonna restore the burnt stamina. Good. I'm gonna ice rag up. I'm gonna drop my bag. See if I can get behind him. Come on. Nice, got him staggered and bleeding. As soon as you stagger enemies, oh man. That's when you feel a sense of relief when you've got him staggered. So that that gray pearl bird can he could be the end of you very quickly. So, I mean, look at that loot. Three gravels, three ochre spice, those beetles. Can't say enough about them, really. Love them. Okay. This is three life potions right there. Blood mushroom, gravel beetle, three waters. Three life potions. Take all that. Okay, we got we lost some health, but we got health restoration going. Okay. Make on making our way to Conflux. He's pretty noticeable. Pretty pretty noticeable landmark. A couple of bandits over there. I'm not gonna worry about them. All right, there's, like I said, there's three entrances into the Conflux Mountain. We're going to tackle them one at a time. Before we go into the mountain, I do want to visit the Immaculate Camp. Okay, the Immaculate is a scourge beast. You'll learn as you play, out, play through outward, there's the beasts that roam the, the land of Arai known as scourge beasts a few different breeds a few different types but there's an immaculate in each region that is somewhat civilized okay he speaks and he helps you out and we're gonna be visiting one right now he's gonna help us out all right so Head over his camp. 
close to Complex Mountain. It's basically on the north side of Complex. Let me just reference the map for you right here. So basically it's right here. So slightly east, north and then slightly east. Oh, we gather some gay berries on our way. Usually identify it by that wooden ramp, kind of the busted busted wooden bridge type ruins in the uh, stone archway. And of course this this metal metal structure. Okay, we've got the let's mine the iron. These are turnips. I guess I'll gather them. They're kind of heavy. Half pound each. So they pile up in your bag and they, they become kind of a hindrance at times. So if our bag gets overweight, we may drop them. But we can use them in that alchemical alchemical recipe, Astral Potion. All right, Immaculate's Camp. Here we go. This is an Immaculate, a Scourge Beast. <laughs> All right, you're a monster from the Scourge Immaculate. So, if you say, can you help me? I don't possess much, but I can offer you a piece of my survival gear. What needs drive you? If you select, I need power. Hmm. I can teach you a way to become resistant to decay magic and poisons. Make, you, make your own far more powerful. I call it possession boon. Teach it to me, please. Sit and close your eyes. I'll help you unlock the power to manipulate the contrap corruption that lurks within you sounds kind of scary okay possessed has been learned i hope it helps you keep safe and alive okay thanks for the chat all right so we've got possession boon now possessed boon takes mana to use it so we're about to acquire mana from complex mountain the ability to uh, cast spells and to also use boons like the possess boon. So similar to the warm boon, which I've spoke about before, it well, just like we talked about, it increases your decay and damage resistance as well as the the decay damage that you deal. It's super valuable. There's boons for every element. Okay, cool, warm, possessed. Let's take the Discipline Potion. We'll take the Cleaver Halberd too. Yeah, bag's overweight. Bitter Spicy Tea. We're going to leave the Flint and Steel and the Torch. So, our bag's pretty overweight if we equip that. Mm, yeah. I'm actually going to drop it because the bag's too overweight. Uh, let's see, what else can I... I guess I could... I'm just going to drop the Predator Bones. I'll drop this... Let's see, I'll drop the Iron Scrap. I'll drop all the hides. I'm trying to think of heavy things that aren't very valuable. Turnips. Oh, we'll keep them. Got a lot of the bitter spicy tea. It's good to have quite a bit of that, though. But that's too many, 11. I like to keep that number around 7, 8. If I'm on, if I'm going on a decently long journey. Alright, now our bag's not even overweight, so we're fine. Okay, there's a little iron ore vein right behind him. Yeah, possess boon, there's cool boon, warm boon, mist boon, which is the ethereal. And Blessed Boon, that's, I knew I was missing one. Blessed Boon is for lightning. Lightning, resistance, and damage. Alright. Let's drop down here. Conflux Mountain. So that'll be it for this part. In our next episode, we'll go into the heart of the mountain. We'll acquire mana. And... We'll use our first spell. And we'll see you there. Well, bye.